recover from a marathon for your body to physically and mentally recover. And a minute ago, we saw that uh, Brantley had passed Kempinen to take the lead. And Frank, Kempinen uh, just vomiting there, I believe. He's taking the lead, but feeling the effects of it. What's the story? Kempinen at the last water station did not take a drink. The other two did, Brantley and Coogan. Oh, my goodness. Oh, he is really sick. He is slowing down, but he, he put down his head, ran, and he got a 20-meter lead. And he still got a 20-meter lead, but he didn't drink. Maybe he really had an upset stomach. Oh, this is something. He, he just put down his head, got this lead. This is the break. He went for the win. Coogan couldn't respond. Brantley couldn't respond. Coogan's trying to track him down now. Keith Brantley falling a little bit behind Coogan. This is going to be amazing. Just amazing. He probably actually feels a lot better right now. But <laughs> I he don't. is going for the win. <laughs> he, he is going for the win. This is unbelievable. Graphic evidence right there of what a marathon can do to your body. He may feel better. We don't. Frank, is there but, he, but he is getting a bigger lead. Any chance of dehydration because he's just lost all of that liquid and he hasn't been drinking. He, I think it was just tactical. He, he was going to actually go at that water station. He never even made an attempt, and he spurted a little bit when he went by there, so he felt this was the race. I think he'll be okay. Mentally, he's so fit. Dehydration is really something that happens more to the unfit athlete. Uh, I, don't, I honestly don't think it's going to be a factor. He's going for the win. He's even pulling away. He's running faster. He is, after all, a doctor, so if anyone can assess the uh, impact of what's going on. And I think that's...